Hello and welcome back. My name is Gizmo and in today's video I'm looking at a surround sound system from an English audio brand called Majority. This is the Everest 5.1, a wireless surround sound system consisting of a soundbar, a wireless subwoofer and two wireless satellite speakers. In this video I'll do an unboxing and briefly go over what's included in the Everest package. I'll set up the surround sound system in my living room and I'll talk about the main features of the system and the general specs. Now I should mention this is not an in-depth review and I'm not an audiophile so to speak. However, I will give you my brief general feedback on how I feel the Everest system looks and sounds. This is not a paid video, however the system was sent out to me by majority for the purpose of this video. So let's start with a quick unboxing. Now the surround sound system came in a rather unusually shaped box. There is a large, what you might call I guess, a regular shaped box on the left hand side and a long rectangular section on the right hand side. Both of them are attached together and they make the entire package. Unfortunately, after a little bit of faffing around, I resorted to just tearing the box open in frustration. Not really the best of unboxing experience I know, but I'm not sure why it's just not a regular shaped box. So the long section has the soundbar and the taller section has the subwoofer. There's also two smaller boxes which contain the accessories and two satellite speakers. Now one thing you will know is there are no instruction manuals provided. In fact, there are no paperwork whatsoever inside the box. Perhaps this is because Majority as an audio brand is trying to be more green and they're trying to cut down on printed paperwork. There is however a fantastic user manual on the company's website which can also be downloaded as a PDF file. But to be quite honest, everything is self-explanatory and the system is very easy to set up. So let's take a closer look at the accessories. So in the accessories box, you get a remote control with two AAA batteries. There are four power adapters in total, one for the soundbar, one for the subwoofer, and two mini USB power adapters to charge the two satellite speakers. You also get a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and a RCA cable. Now here's a closer look at the remote control. So along the top you get the individual volume buttons for all of the speakers, then the bass, the treble, the media playback buttons and the overall volume of the system in the middle. Then the different sources and preset buttons on the bottom section. There's also a button which allows you to turn off the LCD display on the soundbar and this is really useful and should come in handy if watching a movie in the dark as the display is rather bright. So let's take a look at the system in a bit more detail. The surround sound system overall consists of the soundbar, two satellite speakers and the subwoofer. The Everest is a 300 watt 5.1 surround sound system powered by Dolby Audio and majority claims the Everest surround system generates a game changing and dynamic soundscape. The system has a wireless subwoofer and two wireless rechargeable satellite speakers. The two satellite speakers offer 3D audio and have a range of approximately 20 meters. They are charged by the provided micro USB power adapters and offer up to 8 hours of playback. The subwoofer is also wireless and offers an approximately 10 meter range. Now the subwoofer has a 5.25 inch driver to fill the room with dynamic bass and I have to admit I was pleasantly surprised at just how powerful the bass is. The Everest sound system offers a whole range of different connectivity options including Bluetooth 5.0, HDMI with audio return channel, optical, auxiliary port and of course there's also a USB port as well. Now I've set up the system in my living room and I've connected it to my television using the optical cable and I have to say my first impression of the system really surprised me. 
I was definitely not expecting the subwoofer, for example, to be as loud and effective as it is, considering just how light it is in terms of weight. It really weighs almost nothing, but it's shockingly good in terms of sound and bass quality. Now, rightly or wrongly, I've always associated more heavier speakers and subs to be generally meaning they're better in quality and of course they're usually more expensive but honestly the Everest system may change your mind. Now I have to say I really like the fact that everything is wireless it just makes the system more neat and tidy. I can move around the satellite speakers wherever I want without having to worry about cables anywhere. The quality of the satellite speakers are also good and you do get a sense of 3D sound effect when they're positioned in the room correctly in relation to where you're sitting. The system is really easy to set up as well, in fact there really isn't much for you to do. It's self-explanatory and just more or less works out of the box. Now another fantastic thing about purchasing these is that majority is committed to giving back to the environment and they aim to become a carbon neutral audio brand. So to help achieve this, for every product sold, majority plants a tree and contributes towards many sustainable projects around the world. So not only do you get a great surround system, but when you purchase one of these, you're also doing just that little bit to help the environment as well. So as I mentioned earlier, this isn't an in-depth review. It's more of an unboxing and a first look at the product. So that being said, what are my overall thoughts on the majority surround sound system? Well, I have to admit, considering the price range, I am pleasantly surprised at the overall sound quality of this system. This system currently retails on Amazon UK for under £230 and that in the world of audio equipment is amazing value. I mean, you really do get a lot for your money. You're getting a 5.1 Dolby audio system with wireless speakers and it's not poor quality either. I mean, granted there are always things that can be improved, but everything feels solid and well put together and it just works out of the box. The satellite speakers are really well made and of course they're wireless and they have a long lasting battery life as well. The sound quality is also nice and it's very clear and you do get a sense of 3D surround sound as I mentioned earlier. Now the subwoofer again is very loud and definitely makes a difference and if you're sitting next to it, you know, if it's positioned next to your sofa, you can definitely feel the vibration and rumble. It really makes a difference if you're watching, for example, fast action scenes in the movie or just playing, you know, video games. It makes a massive difference. The system also looks rather good. I like the design of the satellite speakers and the metal bases really look good on them. And it feels very modern and it definitely won't look out of place in most living rooms. Well folks, just to wrap things up, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not an audiophile. However, to me this system genuinely does sound good. I mean don't get me wrong, it's not gonna you know, beat the latest and greatest Dolby Atmos system, but then it's not aimed at the same price point. For £230, this is a fantastic 5.1 surround sound system that will surprise you with its 3D audio and deep level of bass. You will definitely feel a major difference. So if you're looking to improve the sound above and beyond what your television offers and you don't want to break the bank doing so, then I would highly recommend you give the majority Everest 5.1 wireless surround sound system a try. Thanks for watching folks, until next time, take care and I see you soon.